morning, everybody. Welcome to Kylie, Lee, and I, Caitlin, Shaylin, and Maddie take Florida day four. Imagine our names being before Caitlin's and actually um, We are going to Universal today. It is currently 7.30 in the morning. Universal opens at nine. So we are going, we all are getting ready. Um, just about finished that up. And then we're gonna go get breakfast at Chick-fil-A. And then we're gonna head to the park. And I'm a little nervous because it won't let me put my ticket on my app because it's telling me that I already did, but I did it. So I'm really confused. So I'm a little bit nervous, but does everyone want to do OOTDs for Universal? Yeah. Okay, we'll start with Lana and Maddie. I'm wearing this two-piece set. Where's it from? She. Super cute. She's not gonna wear shoes today, she decided. Yeah, so I'm just rocking out with my sock now. <laughs> Okay, um, I'm just wearing this tank top from American Eagle and these shorts from I don't know where because wearing these shoes. Cute. Because they still fit me from um, multiple years ago, so I don't know where they're yeah, from. from. And, then, <laughs> and then I'm just wearing my Air Force One. Um, for some reason, I'm dressing really like as if I would any other day, but I think you look cute. It's kind of funny for an amusement park. Thanks. You're cute. I am wearing this tank top from Pink. It's like one of the few things from Pink I didn't give to my 12 year old cousin. And this black bralette and my black Adidas shorts. And I'm gonna wear my Roshis because we love mixing brands. I have the shorts. Oh my Actually, gosh. Um, I'm wearing this black t-shirt top top thing. Nothing, I don't know. It's just really just cropped up. <laughs> from, not sure, Target I think. And these shorts from out of nowhere and my Roshis. Cute, we can our matching shoes. I'm bringing my roshis as well, just in case it's uncomfortable. Good thinking, good thinking. And when Shannon gets out, we will do hers. Oh! Are you ready to do it after the day? Yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm wearing these shorts that I got from Target. Oh, wait, no, I got these shorts from American Eagle. Um, I got this belt. I don't know where I got the belt from. Got this shirt from Target. This necklace from Target, um, these earrings from Sheen, and then I don't know where I got these earrings from. Huh. Um, and then I got this scrunchie in my hair. Super cute. Oh, so we're all about to take. Oh, we're all about to take some Tylenol because we don't want to risk having fevers because then they won't let us into the park. That would be super awkward if just one of us has a fever, none of us can go. So don't want to be the one who ruins off for everybody. Um, and yeah that's basically our update so we will vlog in the park we will give you guys tomorrow not today tomorrow we will give you guys a full rundown of what going to universal studios during a pandemic is like so we'll get to tell you guys if it's worth it um we spent 314 dollars to get so it better be worth it so yeah that's that would be so awkward if we all just like had COVID. <laughs> if we all had COVID, then it would be really suspicious. Mm -hmm. like, why the hell did you guys come here if you're sick? I do not need this. Do you have the masks? Oh man, I'm just gonna lie. No. See, there's just an ice cube attached to it. It's just like, it's just like focusing, so it's just. I don't know. It's no awesome. fevers in this friend group. Mm -hmm. I look dumb. We yeah, made it to the park. Yep, definitely. Shaylin's a little bit dumb because when we went to pay for parking, the lady was like, um, Volcano Bay or the theme parks. And Shaylin said, Okay. We had to just uh, the theme park. And then they gave her $10 extra dollars. And then when they gave it back, she didn't even like, seem like normal about it. Like, I was like, Oh, haha. -ha. She'll just. <laughs> she gets really overwhelmed really quickly. Um, it's fine though. So anyway, we're gonna go, I guess, through security, get our temperatures checked. <laughs> Hopefully nobody has a fever. Um, and yeah. It's so annoying if one of us does it. It really is. We walked, or we parked in the Jurassic Park area of the park. We all made it, guys. My legs are a little shaky. We were so nervous. <laughs> But we all made it, so we're good to go. We made it into the park, and honestly, for a Tuesday, I feel like there's a good amount of people here. Like, with COVID and a Tuesday. Yeah, and the park's not open yet. But if you guys were looking about or wondering at crowd levels, here we go. How did we all feel about the mummy? It was really scary. It was scarier than I remember. 
Yeah, it was definitely scary. Caitlin and Maddie were like, is there a jump scare? And we were like, no. And then like literally right after there was a jump scare, we just- Really? It's, yeah, I screamed. I didn't scream for the money. I think it's just because you're so confident. Yeah, I was so crazy. Yeah. It was really fun though. And we didn't have to wait in the line at all, which was nice. Although the park literally just opened two minutes ago. So I'm not even sure why we were able to ride that. But um, yeah, so I don't know where we're headed now, but so far so good. There's not too many people here, which is nice. And my mask won't stay on. Every time I talk, it just moves down and it's annoying me, but it's fine. To go into Diagon Alley. You guys probably think I'm just walking into a brick wall. <laughs> <laughs> From Green Gods, the line for this one, the queue, is so this cool. Is really cool. It's like literally like we're in the Harry Potter, like. Yeah. When you're waiting in line, like if the line's really long, they talk to you. Uh huh. I don't know. <laughs> no idea. It's the bank. Where's if you wish to open an account, make your way to the security office. <laughs> going on the Simpsons. They give you hand sanitizer before every ride and it's really moisturizing and weird. But our hands are gonna be so clean all day long, so. It's, it's a cool thing though with Universal, like right now, like I feel like I'm literally at zero risk of getting COVID. Oh yeah, such a good you feel very safe, safe. Yeah. very safe. The other nice thing is that you don't have to ride any rides. Like if you come by yourself or like a couple people, you don't have to ride anything with other strangers. Yeah, because they're social the distancing. You. That so that's nice. Like yeah. We got Miss Tiki a quick self. I love that. Watch We just oh hold on oh I just we just rode the Simpsons ride and Shaylin got us all yelled at because she took her mask off and then they immediately were like if you take your mask off we're gonna stop your ride. I don't know why I did it. <laughs> it's fine. Um, but it was really fun. Sharon got motion sick though. Are you okay now? Yeah, I'm fine now. Okay. I just closed my eyes for a second. You got motion sick too? Maybe it's the back row. Maybe it's the back row. Back yeah. Row. That would be so bad. Uh, can we talk about my score versus Shaylin's score? I'm embarrassed. We came into the bathroom for the first break of the day. We have a fast pass for Hagrid's in like 20-ish minutes. We're in ha Islands of um, Adventure now, by the way. We took the Hogwarts Express over here and they are not letting you take off your masks on the Hogwarts Express. And they tell you 15 times that they're video surveillancing you. So don't even try it because you will get in trouble. We did not try it, but. Um, anyway, this bathroom feels really nice because it's really nice and cool. So that's good. We just got off of Hagrid's and it was so, it was much, so fun. much fun. It was I so cool. I rode the handlebars and I was just having the best time of my life. So. And we didn't get to ride that one last year so we had no idea what to expect. It was so fun. The guy in front of me just was like filming the whole thing and the whole time I was like he's just gonna let go of his phone on accident. It's gonna fly back. It's gonna water. break my nose. It was stressing me out but it was really fun. Okay, Caitlin and Maddie are trying butter beer for the first time. We got the frozen one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah. It looked like it was about to start storming, so we found some nice cover, shade, having a cool, refreshing butter beer. Driving. <laughs> we came back to Universal. We're going to ride the Jimmy Fallon ride. It's a little bit rainy still, but not nearly as bad as it was because it was storming. Was it really? Well, I guess. Oh, wait, do I have to get a virtual? Sorry. Okay. It was storming kind of a lot. It was like pouring rain and windy, but now it's not. It's just drizzling a little bit now, so that's much better. So. This is nice, honestly. Yeah, it does. There's a panda. They probably all went in because of the rain. Guys, wait, I have to get this. Again. Okay. <laughs> Me and Liana came on a backstage tour of NBC Studios with Maddie. Yeah, it's 
Please note that on this attraction, Santa and Queen will be located at the Seriously, feel like you're backstage at MVP, though. It's really cool. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. We just got out of the um, horror makeup show. It was really funny. It was really funny. When we walked in, they were doing a little pre-show with Beetlejuice and Leanna's wearing black and white stripes <laughs> and we walked in kind of late. So Beetlejuice was like, oh, you don't, like he was giving her tips to um, wash her clothes in cold He's water. Like, oh, so sorry about your outfit. If you wash it in cold, dry in cold water, that wouldn't happen. Yeah, because <laughs> it's like trunk. I literally just said, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, <laughs> But it was really yeah. funny. Um, So it's almost two o'clock now. The park closes in four hours. Yeah, no. There's SpongeBob. And Patrick. Me and Caitlin are on the ET ride, but you can't see us. Yeah. How'd you think about it? What do you think? It was really lame. It was very lame and very dumb, but it's kind of pretty in some parts. Yeah. don't like the minion ride. It sucks. It's so lame. It was so stupid and it's like you're just like watching a movie while just like bumping around. Like it wasn't even like yeah. you had bosses or anything. I mean I guess it is for children so that makes sense. But, <laughs> well um, we're doing Shrek 4D now so we didn't do this last year either. But I guess it's just a 4D movie. Okay. All right, so it's like 4.30 now. We've ridden everything in Universal Studios. We didn't really ride anything in Islands of Adventure, right? Did we? Except that one ride, except Hagrid's. So tomorrow we're gonna come and ride everything in Islands of Adventure, but we are leaving now because the park doesn't close for another hour and a half, but we rode everything, so. And Maddie and Shaylin can't stop getting nauseous on every single ride for some reason. So we're gonna leave and we're gonna go to some. Yes. We're gonna go to some souvenir stores and see if we can find matching shirts and then like go get dinner and stuff like that later. Um, but yeah, so that's your update for today. We can all, when we get in the car, we can all say how we feel about Universal Day 1. Okay guys? I have a grievance. Oh, Shaylin has a grievance. <laughs> so. We forgot to tell you guys about how we felt at um, Universal. So how do you feel about our day at Universal? Sorry, I'm just a little too weak. I'm sorry. Did she ask you if you guys were staying at a resort? Okay, well, Leanna's busy, so I'll tell you about it first. So I uh, had a really well, good time. Like, no, no, yeah. I had a really good time at Universal. Um, it was really fun to say about it. I thought it was pretty enjoyable. I didn't think the masks were too annoying. I don't have a mask pan, so that's good. And yeah, honestly, it rained pretty early on in the day, and then it was pretty cool for the rest of the day, so that was nice. Yeah, well, you were too busy, so I'm sorry, guys. Um, um, my idea at Universal was really good today. Um, I had a blast. What are you doing? Can you say something? Um, yeah, it was actually really nice, guys, because there weren't a lot of people there, so we didn't have to wait in a lot of lines. We knocked out a bunch of stuff. Um, we had really a delightful time. Really, no complaints. Really excited tomorrow to go back and to uh, Island Adventure and ride everything we missed. So. It was really fun. Yes. Okay, let's go back and go with the crab Yes. Alright. Enjoy. Thank you. Yeah. Good start. <laughs> um, so, it was really fun. Um, I had a really good time, but like, I was telling them, like, 
my one grievance, which is like this is really selfish and I don't want to seem like hateful for saying this, but like a lot of the employees were just like really rude. Um for like no reason. Like and like there wasn't a lot of like guidance about what to do. Like like you know, like the locker areas are new to like a new area to co like complete and so the lines are different and they just like kind of expect you to know that. Yeah, Which they you were, don't. They did some of them did have to um, but other than that, it was fun. Um, I had really fun. It was my first day at the time of Universal. Me too. Um, I do agree that some of the workers were a little unnecessary. Yeah. But it was a good time nonetheless. So, yeah. Um, I kept getting like nauseous on every single ride. So. Yeah, I was having exactly. such a killer time <laughs> on those simulation rides. I could not get enough. It really was so cool to me. They were really I fun, was, like, like it's super cool. Is, what I see, what I can say, Calvin Blanco. She said, like, one time she got scared on one of the rides and almost punched me. She said, and then she's like, oh my god, I almost punched you. Like, and then another time she, like, something oh, su something surprised her and she, um, said Calabunga. <laughs> anyway, guys, sorry Caitlin just ended that last clip so abruptly, but our food got here. We came to the same burger place we came last year, if you guys remember, and so I got a Swiss mountain mushroom. Why do you keep on so much? We also got a Swiss mushroom burger and tops. Hold on. I got a, I think it's black and blue. It's like mushrooms and blue cheese. Nice. And fried pickles. And fried pickles, yeah. And Caitlin and Maddie. Basically, we just got the burgers. Nice. So, yeah, that's our day. We'll see you guys later at the hotel or if we get matching shirts. We're literally about to go into the world's sketchiest gift shop. Oh, she probably closed the door. <laughs> like, it literally just said that Florida shirts were $1.99. So, that's a little bit weird, and we're all a little concerned. Okay, we're leaving this gift shop because we all agreed the shirts were just ugly as hell. And we, they were only eight dollars, but we just we, yeah, it was getting really awkward. It was getting really awkward in the friend group inside the gift shop, so we're gonna go find a different gift shop and hope that they have better options. All right, so we decided not to go to another um. Gift shop. Wait, what was the last update I even gave you guys? I don't even know. A lot happened. We got into like a little bit of a friend group fight because everyone started blaming everyone for our problems and <laughs> for their problems. And um, yeah, so we're not going to go to another gift shop because we want to go to a surf shop, but there's no surf shops in Orlando because it's not a beach. So on Friday, we're going to try to go to a beach. Um, but anyway, did the toilet flush normal? It flushed perfectly fine. Oh, good. So anyway, I'm going to go take a shower and then we're going to play for the girls again. So I'm probably just going to go ahead and end the vlog here because I don't know how much footage I got, but I think it's a lot. So <sighs> everyone want to end it with me? Sure. Peace out, Peace out. Peace out. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. I was just going to say, um, we hope you guys enjoyed this video and check in tomorrow for Orlando or Universal Day 2. Okay. Peace, Peace out, ladybugs. Bye.